before we start, we'll talk this five important point again. The first one is what? Difficult roads often lead to difficult destinations. Beautiful destinations. Am I right? If you are climbing to a mountain, am I right? You want to go to Uti, or you want to climb Everest, or you want to go to a hilly area, top of the mountain, see the wonderful lake, which is which is below. Is it easy to go to the mountain? It is easy to go to that uh, hill uh, resorts, stations. No, you have to take hairpin buns. It's risky. But once you reach the top, it's a beautiful, you, know, you have a beautiful uh, you know, vision. You have a beautiful uh, sceneries. Mashallah, you'll feel, you'll appreciate, right? So the beautiful destination, sometimes you feel the roads are difficult. So room for more, we can always improve. You know? We always feel that we need to improve ourselves. Okay, that's the first point. Difficult roads lead to beautiful destination. Don't think, you know, I, I, I will stop with my effort. Always there is a possibility to improve. The second one is learn from failures. This is the second mindset, am I right? How I can do? First of all, you need to accept failure and set, uh, setbacks that it will happen to me. I am a human being. I am not an angel. I am not prophet. I am not XYZ. I am a human being. Am I right? So I tend to do mistake. I, I, I face a lot of failures in my life. So I accept this failure first. The second one, recognize that success and failure are part and parcel of this life. It's part and parcel. Difficulty, ease, success, failure. It's part of the life. Recognize that. The third one, celebrate the effort in working towards your goal. It doesn't mean you achieved your goal or you become successful, but you need to Celebrate each and every milestone, every step you are moving towards your success. Uncle, I was in, I was scoring 30 marks out of 100 and it was a failure case, but today I improved 10%. Reward yourself next time 50, 60, 70, who knows you will become 100 out of 100 one day. So it is the destination is that, but during that process, you need to make yourself happy. Celebrate each and every step you are making towards that. Reward yourself. Don't focus on result. Focus on your efforts. Result will come. If you have hard work, effort, and dedication, result will come. So don't think I have to be first rank, second rank. No, that is not our ultimate goal. Our goal is to be in the straight path. Igadina suratal mustaqim. Ya Allah, guide us to the straight path. He did not say that, take us to the Jannah. No, the, if you are in the straight path, what is the result? It will take you to the Jannah. So my question, the question for me and you is to answer, am I focusing, am I focusing on my efforts to be in the straight path, to work hard? The result will be from Allah SWT. The fourth one, understand that setback on our failures does not define you as a person. If you fail, doesn't mean you are a failure case. People come and say, you are a failure case, man. You don't come, you know? If you are in my team, we are not able to win. People, people tell, you know, the, the, in, the, in the school, my, our friends used to tell, I don't want you to put in our team because you are obese. You cannot run fast. No, you are not smart. People you know, define you as a failure. But believe me, that is not the case. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed you as the best of the best person. You are a human being. You are, are a Muslim. That is enough for me. Am I right? Nobody can, you know, disrespect you unless you allow them to disrespect you. You don't give up. You don't listen to me. So, okay, they are talking maybe. But I am. I know that I am doing my best. So understand that setbacks and failures does not define you as a person. It helps you, it will motivate you, it will help you to learn and come back as a successful person. So don't 
limit yourself as a failure case. A lot of failure cases have become a success stories. We will see some real time stories in this class, inshallah. I'm going to show you something very interesting. You will, you will enjoy. The challenge is something which you want to do. Don't always take easy path. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives you challenges not to destroy you, my dear children. Don't think, today, why I'm tested? Why I'm getting always tough questions in exam? Why I'm going to the competition? Always people are intelligent who are better than me coming and competing with me. So I cannot get the prize. <laughs> Don't think, sometimes you think, all right? You want to compete with someone who is lower than you so we can get big challenge. Allah gives you challenges not to destroy you, but to develop you. Am I right? When you have put on challenge, it makes you to come to the best of the best of your ability to take the challenges. Alhamdulillah. Third, the fourth one is what? Adversities and disasters. All right? No disasters strikes except by permission of Allah. Without Allah's permission, you will not have these adversities and calamities. Who's bringing Corona? Do you think China? Do you believe China is bringing? Who is bringing? Can you type? China, America, who, who? Corona comes because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is destined, not because of China. Am I right? No one can harm us except the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So don't get fooled by these, you know, tricks, or this media saying that it's coming. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is testing us. And whoever believes in Allah, he will guide his heart. So at this time of adversities and disasters, calamities, we need to make sure. Tawakkal to Allah. Hasbun Allah wa al waqeel. When you have that attitude, that is the growth attitude. Nobody can shake you. No, nobody can make you depressed because you believe this is coming from Allah. It's a test for me. Let me be patiently persevere and accept the test and face this calamity, face this adversity. I trust in my Rabb and he will show me way to come out of this. He will guide his heart and Allah is knowing of all things. He does not know what is hidden, what is visible, what is there in the earth, what is in the heaven. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is alimul ghaib wa saha. He knows everything. Am I right? Sami'un alim. He is hearer. He is knower. Sami'un basir. He listens. He sees everything. So let us turn back to Allah. Let us have this confidence and tawakkal in Allah. Then we are stuck in adversities and disasters and calamities. That is a growth mindset. Nobody can stop. Nobody may, can make you, you know, uh, feel bad. The fifth one is criticism. It's happening. Am I right? It's happening for everyone. Criticism. Tell me, tell me one incident or one uh, one story where you have tried something and everybody priced you. Can you tell me something? Has it happened to you? Uncle, I did this one. Everybody said, MashaAllah, you are good. Tabah, MashaAllah, Tabarakallah, you are the best person. There will be someone who always, no, you did, but you know, I didn't like this. You, you are showing off your face. Why do you are talking like this? Why, you know, you did this mistake here. <laughs> they will come and say, you know, it should be criticism. Why are you telling criticism? <laughs> they want to catch you know, something out of nowhere to tell you, you are not perfect. And I accept I am not perfect because I am not Allah. I'm not his Rasul. I can never become perfect. I'm not um, malaikas. I'm not angels. So I am with the deficiency. So I know that. So you are trying to prove me, you know, I am wrong. You know, I am bad. It's a part of the people culture. These are the negative people. Right? Criticism is going to be that part and parcel of our life. So part of our faith, part of our sincerity is to accept criticism. 
the same way you accept price when somebody said tariq you did excellent job mashallah zubair mashallah uh, abdullah abdurrahman mashallah um, nasheed very good mashallah i'm very happy because there are in i took a class i gave a speech there are thousands of people mashallah 900 people praised me i was very happy next day one guy will come and say what the hell did you do you made this mistake that's it all my 900 people will become like this and the one guy will sit on my head did it happen to you or not please help me did it happen to you we forget this 999 people who praised and and said you are a good person and we took one person who said you are useless person that's it he is there in our head he will not sleep the whole night allah i did my best allah i did not feel but this guy did i cannot sleep subhanallah so we need to accept that criticism we have to understand people will tell it's good okay they, that their point could be right maybe i have done something alhamdulillah but my my i cannot be perfect it's okay it's okay to criticize it's fine so i need to have that ability and the mindset to accept the same way i accept my price i should accept my criticism which is very difficult for people who are in, in the public who become famous it is very difficult for them somebody criticizes they counter argue they try to prove no you are wrong no don't do it that's not growth mindset you need to accept the way you accepted the price 